as you know humanity is least given a value in today's world and religions have become monsters no atheist is an extremist nobody who comes from a secular background is killing humanity it is the religious fanatics religious extremist and those who are intolerant and rigid religious people they want to prove to the world that they are the best ones but the best one should produce result if you are a, the best religion right then you should be loving all religions you should be taking care of humanity you should be helping the needy ones the poor ones but all your efforts are being invested to prove to yourself that you are the best and all else is way below your level you're not the best you're the worst because the best one doesn't even think he is the best the one who truly loves is always doubtful about his love and the one who just verbalize phraseology and say i love you with the tip of his tongue every single day that person doesn't really love anybody without sufism you are stuck with self love when you are in love with yourself you cannot love anybody else in order to be able to love somebody you have to stop loving yourself first those who love themselves they cannot love anybody those who love themselves they cannot love anybody those who love themselves they cannot love their mother they cannot love their father they cannot love their children they cannot love their husband they cannot love their wife because they are too busy loving themselves this is why the first principle in spirituality in sufism is to negate yourself is to go through a process a spiritual process of austerity in which you deny yourself and you negate yourself and you undermine your value at zero and you stop loving yourself and when you literally stop loving yourself then you begin to love whomsoever enters your heart if god is not in your heart if god is not in your heart don't think your heart is empty if god is not in your heart do not think your heart is empty then what is it that your heart is occupied with if god is not in your heart and you think it's empty you're wrong now you understand your heart is not empty and god is not in your heart then who is it when god is not in your heart your heart is unprotected and when your heart is unprotected then nobody is in more jiffy to jump in your heart than devil then nobody is in more jiffy then nobody is in more hurry 
than devil to jump in your heart and settle in there and control your entire spiritual and physical organs and make a complete fool out of you and fill your heart and your mind with utter hatred. Now, because of this evil occupation and evil invasion in and on your heart, you are polluted with illegitimate presence of the devil. In order to invite God to come and reside in your heart, you need to prepare your heart and make worthy of your make worthy your heart of God's presence. You need to purify your heart. You need to kick out the devil from your heart. And in order to be able to kick out the devil from your heart, you need help. And this help comes from people who are divinely delegated, divinely anointed, divinely appointed. And these individuals who are divinely appointed and delegated have been granted spiritual authority and spiritual power and they have the authority and methodology of transferring divine energy from your heart into your heart from their heart into your heart and when the heart is initiated divine energy and God's name and the spirit of God's name is transmitted into your heart. The moment the spirit of God's name is initiated into your heart, the throbbing, the pulsating of the heart is introduced a new conversion from simple TikTok. It starts to sound and say the name of God. Now it depends on the number of time it combusts into each other. The more the combustion takes place, the more divine energy is generated. And this divine energy, and this divine energy is the fuel for God's love. This divine energy will create a flame of God's love rendering your heart into a candle of God's light. And this is how your heart is purified. There used to be a unorthodox saint of God in Lahore. There used to be an unorthodox saint of God in Lahore. And he, he used to claim, I'm God's friend, I'm God's friend. Some of the religious scholars who thought this guy is, is a crazy guy and he doesn't follow Sharia, he doesn't go to a mosque. You know, he plays with Hindu boys and he says he's a saint of God. They complained to the spiritual or the religious guardian of the city. And the religious guardian of the city summoned him to his court. And the Qadi asked him, how did you reach God? And he said, I didn't reach God. Now these religious scholars, they had a smirk on their face. Ha, look, the cat is out of the bag. And the Qadi said, you did not reach God then how do you say you're a saint of God? He said, I am a saint of God. However, I didn't reach God. I'm not supposed to reach God. And he said, why? Explain. He said, haven't you heard that hadith? qalb momin baytul rabb My heart is God's house. Why should I reach him? 
His house is here. He should reach here. I cleansed his house. And when his house, my heart was completely cleansed. He came inside my heart. So my friend, the solar system is so vast. There's so many planets. And then on top of this solar system, there is another system which has even more planets in it. And then there are seven different uh, realms. And after these seven realms, we do not know where virtually and literally God is situated. Where is God located? And mind you, there is no GPS that works and finds God's, God's location. I wish there was some kind of a spiritual GPS system with the help of which we could locate God and tell him off. Are you not aware of what's going on? <laughs> but there is no spiritual GPR system. So you cannot reach God. Even if you are in search for God, you need to purify your heart and your heart as explained by religions, all religions is God's house. All you need to do to invite God is to purify your heart. Once your heart is purified and cleansed, God himself will hop in and settle in and render you to be a complete embodiment of the divine on earth on two legs. You'll become a true servant of God and a time will come when it will be quite legitimate to say for you that when you will speak, only your tongue will move the words and its flow will come from God. And when we'll move your legs, only your legs will move. The distance will be covered by God. And when you will move your hands, only your hands will move. But this dispensary, which will be dispensed from your heart, from your hands, will be God's bounty. And this message is for all humanity. For all who want to love God. For all, barring none. Whether you worship fire. Whether you worship sun. Whether you worship cow. Whether you worship a dog or a snake. I really don't care. There is only one message. And this one message is for all. The source of divinity. His divine grace, Lord Rariyas Ghor Shahi, is open to all. His divine grace, Lord Rariyas Ghor Shahi, is here to turn every single human being into a divine figure. Is here for a spiritual transfiguration. 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 What is transfiguration? You must have seen some women, they behave like men. And you must have seen some men, they behave like women. And they go through some kind of surgery. And men become a woman and a woman become a man. This is transfiguration. And we do the same. When God enters your heart and your soul, from men you become God. This is holy spiritual transfiguration. Transfusion of men and God. This is ultimate divine union. This is unison of soul with the soul of God. This is ultimate divine transfiguration. Turning humankind into divine. This is Gohar's slogan. Admiyat ko khudai me muntakil kar dena. Admiyat ko khudai me muntakil kar dena. 
And then of course will take place trans immigration. Those who were supposed to either go to hell or heaven. There is a third option. Most atheists are wary of hearing about hell and heaven. We tell them, I don't talk about hell. I don't talk about heaven. We're talking about the kingdom of God. Where there are no restrictions. Where there are no restrictions, no palaces. The entire kingdom is yours. You're the boss. You are self-employed. <laughs> His divine grace, Lord Rariyas, it wouldn't be wrong if I say is messenger of love. Mursilil hub. Mursilil messenger of love. Turning different fractions, different tribes different religions into one united nation, nation of love, nation that will comprise and consist of people with different skin color, different languages, but same hearts, same souls, same love and the same intensity of love, same intensity of love. Same frequency of divinity. On one hand, you see the fire of hatred is rising and reaching the sky. And on the other hand, you have kindle of love. The furnace of rapturous love. The flames of which, the flames of which are impatiently impatient to reach your souls and burn them to ashes and turn you into a divine. Aura TV Guidance Brought to you